During the Super Bowl, we saw a 1600% increase in the number of searches for not only the commercials themselves, but also for brand terms. There were millions of people who were able to view and engage with the commercials in a way that they can't do on television. You have to think about and consider this online, offline partnership. The YouTube AdBlitz provides an incredibly powerful platform to leverage what you've developed for traditional media. There was a voting mechanism where you could vote the commercials up or down. We actually doubled the number of votes this year, and the commercial that the YouTube community voted as the number one was the user-generated Doritos spot, which is very funny if you haven't seen it. Free Doritos at the office today? I think that's a yes! The tools that we have on YouTube for having your commercial seen and for really disseminating it are very sophisticated. You can see exactly the spot in the video where they started to fall off. If you checked out YouTube the week before the Super Bowl, a number of marketers, E-Trade being one of them, had Super Bowl spots that they were seeding. First question, do you have a girlfriend? Why? Are you interested or something? We decided that we should go ahead with this using you know, some of the graphic elements of Here's what you won't see on the Super Bowl. Running this two days before the biggest national television event was perfect time. The YouTube homepage is perhaps the best way to help a video or a commercial go viral and really ignite in the community. The explosive viral um, impact, 1.8 million had watched um, the outtakes on YouTube in one day. We had um, overlays of come and view the art takes that you might not see, come and look at some of the ads. Morning shows ran clips of the art takes on national television. And just the value of that exceeded the price we paid for one Super Bowl spot. 19% increase in online applications the week after the Super Bowl. We were more than delighted. This year's Ad Blitz, we achieved the same number of views for some of the Super Bowl spots in two days that took us two weeks year prior. We're now over a month past February 1st when the Super Bowl ran and we're still seeing real sustained searching and viewing of those commercial spots in these interactive environments. Consumers voluntarily come to YouTube for information, content, entertainment and if they happen to come across and we can convince them to come and view our content versus someone else's, hey, we're happy. We're all accountable for making sure that our marketers take their assets and their investments as far as they can possibly go. Look very closely at how online can be optimized with offline more effectively than you're currently doing it today. The Super Bowl is about scale. YouTube has massive scale, probably more than most people know. If YouTube were a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. So we think of the Super Bowl as the biggest marketing events that goes on all year, but there is a Super Bowl that happens every single day on the YouTube environment.